Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do an Aries Love Prediction reading for November 8th through November 14th. Please keep in mind this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space energy as well. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, most honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you so much in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my impulsive, loving, sweet, kind Aries. Show me, spirit guys. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my Aries spirit guys? Let's see, Aries, what you got going on. Ten of Pentacles. The Hierophant, King of Wands, Ten of Swords, and Three of Pentacles. Oh, Aries, 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 Aries. You thought you had it, didn't you, Aries? You really did. You thought you had You thought you had the Ten of Pentacles. You thought you had someone that just lit your world up. You were on fire about because I know you thought you had it because that Ten of Pentacles is there. This Ten of Pentacles is there. And this Ten of Pentacles means completeness, wholeness. Uh, everything about this relationship was what you need. It checked all your boxes. Then you have the Hierophant here. The Hierophant means that you saw marriage or you wanted to be married. Or perhaps you were married to this person. Um, I do believe that um, the Hierophant is, my, is a Taurus. Could be a Taurus. But um, you saw marriage with this person you saw a joint you saw a commitment um this was something um that you saw with this person very much so you know also what i have in the middle of this read is my king of wands and king of wands for me is my husband card so if you are looking at this and if you thought you were going to be married and you thought everything about it was all that in a bag of chips, uh, I don't know how to say that in any other way, but you really, really thought that this person was your husband. You were committed to them. You wanted to be committed to them. You were committed to them. This could have been your husband, like I said, or someone that you thought completed you. But guess what? You know how life is. This, this is over. You have that Ten of Swords here. You no longer feel that way or either your marriage has, has ended with this person. Your marriage has ended with this person. You are done. Done. Finished. Over. Ten of Swords is my card of just done. You, you, you're just done with the whole situation. You're done with it. I don't know what they did. I'm going to keep reading. Hopefully I can find out. But you are now done with this particular person. Then you have the Three of Pentacles, which means that now Three of Pentacles means learning. It means learning. And I strongly believe that it's just saying that you are now learning what you really, really want from someone. Learning not to take the first thing. Learning to um, just be the person that you need to be in order to get what you want. It's about you. What you want. And I think that's what has happened. But I'm going to keep reading. Give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify this reading for you. Because it's an interesting read. Let me clarify the reading for you. Let's find out why is this Ten of Pentacles here. Show me why this Ten of Pentacles is here for my Aries. Show me why the Ten of Pentacles is here for Aries. Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aries? Show me, Spirit Guys. If this is your read, sit back, Aries, and relax and give me just three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. Let me clarify the reading. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Ah, look at that. You want a new beginning. That fool card. That fool card is all about a new beginning. Ten of Pentacles, like I said, you thought it was everything, but you want a new beginning. You want a new beginning. You want to start all over again. You thought it was complete, but now you, you want to start all over again. Let's see why the Hierophant card is here. Let's see why the Hierophant card is here. Ah, Three of Cups. Like I said, you thought you had a new beginning with this person, didn't you? 
Um, and then here's the deal. With this Hierophant card and the Three of Cups, this is a celebration. This is partying. This is everything. This is like you thought you had found your complete. You thought you had had a new beginning at life. You thought you had found your complete person. And then here comes the King of Wands, which means this is someone that you thought was going to be your husband. You thought was you were going they were going to be your husband. If you're a woman, you thought they were going to be your husband. If you're a man, you thought you were going to be a husband to someone. So let's see why this King of Wands is here. Show me why the King of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit guys. Why is the King of Wands here? Oh my. You have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. There was conflict. There was always conflict. And I think it's just conflict because, I don't know, I think this is something, mm, I think that you guys just couldn't get on the same page. You couldn't get on the same page. Yeah, you did. You had a good time with them. You thought you were going to be married to them, but you couldn't get on the same page when it came to certain things. Um, perhaps you wanted to be married and they didn't want to be married. Even if you were married to them, perhaps they didn't want to be married anymore. You... Um, perhaps wanted to um, be with someone or you want to be married. But here what, what confuses me and what makes me think that you don't want to be married any, anymore is because this Ten of Pentacles here at the beginning and it has the fool. That is the beginning. That is the beginning of something. So maybe you just didn't want to be married anymore. Maybe you wanted to kick it and have your fun time. I don't know because the Hierophant is here. Then you have the King of Wands, which is a husband card. And then you have the Five of Swords, which means that just in your mind, you just don't want to be married. You don't want to be married to them, whether you're married to them already or whether you um, were thinking about getting married to them. But you've made a different decision now because we know we have the Ten of Swords here. The Ten of Swords. Show me why the Ten of Swords is here for my Aries. Show me why the Ten of Swords is here for Aries. Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Aries? Oh, wow. They were your two of cups, so you guys were two of cups together. You thought that you, 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 uh, it ended someone that you had amazing love with them. And when I say amazing love, not, um, so much in a physical nature, but you guys just thought alike, you loved alike, you touched alike, um, you had public displays of affection. Um, there was very much an affectionate relationship, but it's over. You ended this relationship ended. This relationship ended. Um, this is something that has ended. Um, like I said, you pay, may have been married to them. I don't know. but Or you were thinking about being married to them. But Five of Swords means um, it was conflict. You ended the relationship. And this person was your Two of Cups relationship. Yes, they were your Two of Cups. Let's see why the Three of Pentacles is here. Show me why the Three is sad. Let me Show me why the Three of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Oh, you are determined to get what you want. That nine of wands means that it's insistent and persistent. You will not stop until you get what you want. Three of pentacles, like I said, means that you're learning. That means that you, to get, you want someone that you learn together with. You will not stop until you get what you want. Look at this. The very beginning of this reading is the ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles is completeness, wholeness, happy money, um, having money, having a happy home life. Um, children, dogs, the whole kit and caboodle. That's what the Ten of Pentacles is. It's complete. And you saw that. You saw this. But you have the Fool card there. Is that a new beginning for you? You thought you wanted this? Is this a new beginning though? Because you have the Fool card here on top of that. But then you have the Hierophant. The Hierophant to me is marriage, tradition, marriage. Then you have the Three of Cups. It's almost like you're fighting this. You you want to be married, but possibly you don't want to be married. Um there's a, an internal fight that's going on because five of swords, swords is in your head. You've got conflict going on to be married to this person because King of Wands, like I said, is my marriage card. Um, excuse me, it's my husband card. Either you're a man that wants to be a husband or a woman that was seeking a husband. And it had gotten to a level that you thought maybe this could happen. But no, I don't know. Something has said to me that you have said that no, you don't want this anymore. Um, I think it's one of those things where you're running scared. I really do. And I have to say that. Ten of Swords, you ended something. You were impulsive, though. You ended your Two of Cups. You ended your Two of Cups, your love. Your 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 um your good love. You ended that. 
You ended that. They they thought like you. You felt together. You loved alike. And you ended it. Because now you're saying that you're saying three of pentacles. You want to be with someone to learn with to, to you know, possibly um that teaches you things. And you're insistent and persistent about getting it. But you know, Aries, just because they don't give you everything that you want, and just because of that doesn't mean that you end the relationship. I strongly believe that you grow with it, you learn with it, especially when you have a two of cups there. Especially when you have a two of cups, you know, you have to learn and grow with the relationship. Perhaps they weren't a, a business person. I don't know. But let's see what the angel oracles have to say. Oh, wow. They say self-acceptance, and I strongly believe that's what you're going through now. You need to accept yourself in order to get this relationship or to get any type of relationship that you can learn and grow with and be with, not to break it off when things don't go your way. That's what I have.